What's up, YouTube? It is I, the Path of Divinity himself, the Omega Demigod. And, um, I'm hyped right now because, you know what game this is? This is the game by MiHoYo that was recently released called Genshin Impact. And while Honkai Impact 3rd was a very amazing game, it was only on mobile, and I don't think it's blowing up on YouTube as much. But I really feel like this one will. It is the first game by MiHoYo, as far as I know, to reach console. And I'm playing it on my PS4 right now. I have played Genshin a little bit on mobile. I played the sister... I think her name is Lumine. And the brother is Aether, but I didn't bother play the brother. I don't know what it is with me playing being females and RPs and RPGs. But I happen to be pretty good at that for some weird reason. I don't know. And I'm fond of it. So yeah, I played the sister. I met Amber. I he fought the storm terror for the first time. I met at Jean and Lisa at the library. And what's that guy's name? Kaya? Uh, but that's as far as I ever went. I'm gonna try to get further than that here because I'll be completely blind afterwards. And I think in blind let's plays are better than regular let's plays like if you already know what's about to happen. So how's your how's day been? I mean, I have been off for three weeks. I noticed that. I checked my last yes, video slash stream, and it was three weeks ago. I played Fall Guys, got my tenth win. I got like twelve now. Um, my little bro Tristan did a stream in last week, and it was on some some game that he likes to play called Flat Heroes. I don't think he had a mic at the time. And it probably didn't like do anything, but uh, I'm hyped for this game. I have, the problem with me being gone was that I didn't really have a working mic like that. It come to find out that one of my mics started working again, so. I guess I'm okay with that. I love this chorus. Love it. Let's go ahead and get started. I'll be playing Hey Lumine again. Mm, I did have some cutscene lag on mobile. It'll probably work more smoothly on console, but I'm not sure. The sunset still was really nice. Alright, now we're again. That you fell here from another world? But when you wanted to leave and go on to the next world, your path was blocked by some unknown god? Outlanders, your journey ends here. Who are you? The sustainer of heavenly principles. The irrigation of mankind ends now. Cutscenes do run more smoothly. Of you. Obviously, I'm gonna have to name myself that. Nah, I'm just naming it. Name myself Omega. Let it, let it be known. This is who I am.
just like that. The god took away my brother. Some kind of seal was cast upon me, and I lost my power. So whilst we used to cross world after world, we are now trapped here. That's deep. So I'm assuming that the plot now is the siblings are going to try to get reunited and get their power back and then take on this god again. But it's going to be a long journey. How many years ago was it? I don't know. But I intend to find out. After I awoke, I was all alone. Right up until I met you two months ago. Yeah, Paimon really owes you for that. Otherwise, Paimon likely would have drowned. So Paimon will do her best to be a great <laughs> guy. <laughs> we should head off. Let's get going. Oh. I know, why do you sound amazed at this when you already played the game? I legit... I have not touched this on mobile and it looks... I mean, I mean freak! I legit have not touched this on PlayStation and it looks fire. What is this, the bundle attack? So can I just... They see a lot of die. Guess I'm level one. Hey, bye, mom. I will not teleport waypoint to teleport to that location. How do you open the world map? Am I even supposed to do that? Okay. <laughs> I'm a dummy. Okay. Okay. All right, so what was that? There was an exclamation point at my profile. Can I go back? Okay. The old blade. Okay. Story. A boy and a girl stood amidst the tumult under an unfamiliar sky. You were a pair of traveling twins passing through countless worlds during your journey. Descending upon a continent named Tevat. You hoped that you would be able to enjoy your time here. But as you awoke among the falling stars, you saw the world in turmoil. A cataclysm raging across the land. You sought to leave this place and move on to the next world. But then an unknown god stood before you, barring the way. This deity was spotless, floating over a world of chaos, looking down on you. The god took only your took your only kin away, and you were sealed and cast into a deep slumber filled with nightmares. When you reawakened, the world was changed. The flames of war raged no longer, and nothing was left that looked familiar. How long have you been asleep? You had no answers. Thus, you began a lonely journey, seeking the deity that you had once laid eyes upon. Yep, so basically she's trying to find that god that it had took a brother away the path ends here guess we'll just have to climb yeah I find depletes one. stamina and depleted stamina takes time to recover okay let's take the route we planned okay We're off to a statue of the seven <laughs> which of the seven are you looking for exactly my mom is adorable so they wanted me to look at my weapon? Question? Oh, wow! <laughs> That's a statue of the seven! Oh, really? There are a few of these statues 
together across the land to show the Seven's protection over the world. Among the Seven Gods, this God controls the wind. Paimon's not sure whether the God you're looking for is the Animal God, but... Paimon will take you to the Animal God's place first, and there's the reason why. What's the reason? Whether the gods actually answer you is a different story. You never know unless you try. So let's hop to it. You can swim right over. And now we have a full view of the map. It's weird. I don't know how that happens. Like, did the you the power to know where everything is Ooh, in the area? Did you just feel the elements of the world? I think that's what happened. Seems all you had to do was just touch the statue and you got the power of animal. animal. As, as much, much as they, they may want, want it, people, people in this, this world can, can never get a hold of powers as easily as you. you. Uh-huh! It's, it's because, because you're, you're not from this world, world to begin with! If, if we, we keep heading west, west from here, here we'll, we'll eventually, eventually reach Mondstadt, Mondstadt the, city the city of freedom! freedom. Mondstadt, Mondstadt is the city of wind because, because they worship the god, god of animal! animal. So, so perhaps, perhaps because, because you got, got power from, from the god of animal, you can find some clues there! There are also lots of bards there, so perhaps one of them has heard news of your brother! Let's move then! The elements, the elements in this, in this world, world responded, responded to your, your prayers, prayers and Paimon thinks that's a lovely sign. sign. Alright. Damn. Damn! Murder. Oh, I just took damage from the fire. Wing blade. Freak. <laughs> Bunched him, fell in the water, and just evaporated. Need to at least learn how to fight now. Oh, 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 holy These bull! These are the animal powers you got from the Statue of the Seven! Oh, Paimon's so jealous. Why doesn't Paimon get cool fighting powers? <laughs> uh, uh, um... The world level will increase along with your adventure rank, granting you more bountiful treasures from your adventures and from ley line blossoms. But naturally, the opponents you encounter will also grow stronger. Well, obviously. Adventure rank accession quest. Sometimes you need to complete adventure rank accession quest to increase the world level. Your more adventurous skill. Okay. Why did they show me this again? Oh, oh, uh, okay. Am I able to? Ah. You controls. Well, basically telling me everything. It's good because I was not about to figure it out first getting in here on console. I got an achievement. I like how they still had this element. They had this in freaking um, Honkai where 
there was something in your profile where you would get to complete achievements and other rewards. What the frick is all this shenanigans? Golly! I got a sword and some wings. What is this? Any birthday? Okay. For those of y'all. Currently set to 11. No, 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 no. No. Alright. For those of y'all who don't know me, this is my birthday. June the 27th. So, if you ever want to wish me a happy birthday, that's the day that you do it. Press on. What? Care to stream? Level up. Alright. Level 5. Alright. Just blow all of this on, on her. 15. That's a large leap. I don't know why they give me all this. I I feel deadly now. Wait, I did get some new swords. Wait, someone just flew over me. Wow, what is that? There's something huge in the sky. It's heading towards the heart of the forest. We must proceed with caution. That's that storm terror. All right. Give me this. Can I answer it? Just feed it with the dull blade that I had. Alright, it's level 2 now. Anything else? Attributes. 20 is max level? There's no way 20 is max level. I'm already 15 with the stuff that they gave me. They personally gave me that. <laughs> uh, I feel like this is going to be he like Honkai in the sense that you're able to have multiple characters to level up like this. But that was, that was ridiculous how fast that was. I don't know if you're able to kill any animals for food, but I'm not going to do that. Just pick some berries. Please don't hit. Please don't eat me or something. That was close. Paimon almost got blown away. <laughs> Luckily, Paimon managed to grab hold of your hair. Thanks. <laughs> Just what was that? Paimon thought we were gonna get eaten. <laughs> to do with that weirdo who was talking to the dragon. <sighs> of course not. Oh, what's that? There's some kind of shiny red thingy on the big rock over there. Let's go take a closer look. Let's grab it. Be careful. Paimon doesn't have a good feeling about this. Yeah, proceed with caution. 
Am I able to grab it? Grab it. Paimon's never seen a stone like this before, so Paimon can't tell what it is. All Paimon knows is that it's dangerous. Best okay. we put it away for now. Okay, she grabbed okay, it. Okay, we've got it. Now let's get out of here. All right. Hey, you! Stop huh? right there! <laughs> May the Animo God protect you, stranger. I am Amber, outrider for the Knights of Favonius. You don't look like Here's citizens Amber. of Mondstadt. Explain yourselves. Well, we're not looking for trouble. That's what all the troublemakers say. Doesn't sound like a local name to me. And this mascot, what's the deal with it? I mean, we've only been traveling partners for two months, but we've already become the very best of friends. So to sum it up, you're traveling partners, right? Well, look, there's been a large dragon sighted around Mondstadt recently. Best you get inside the city as soon as possible. It's not far from here. I'll escort you there. Oh, aren't you out here for some other reason? I am, but not to worry. I can keep you both safe while doing that too. Besides, I'm still not sure if I can trust you two just yet. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Probably not something I should say as a knight. I give you my apologies, uh, strange yet respectable travelers. That sounded so fake. <laughs> Do you have something against the type of language usage prescribed by the Knights of Havonius Handbook? At the <laughs> Amber's funny. Yep, so I got Amber as a partner. And I can use use her in battle. See, she is an archer. So, suspicious travelers, what are you doing in Mondstadt? She got separated from her brother during a really, really long journey. Paimon is her travel buddy, helping her to find her brother. <laughs> oh, looking for your family? Huh. Um... All right, voiceover, yeah. Hmm. God. Follow? Uh, uh. Oh, it's like favoriting. Go ahead, favorite Amber right quick. <laughs> no weapons? No. What, what, what? No. I'm gonna stick with this. It seems a lot better. I don't wanna switch to it. I don't wanna switch to it. Switch back. Alright. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use it instead to enhance this. Go up one more low. Cool. Huh? Why is it still here? No presumable was found. Okay. That's odd. Okay, let me finish my other stuff first, and then I can help you put up posters around the city. Okay. What exactly is it you need to finish doing first? It's simple. You'll understand in a bit. Let me go ahead and get to the area. Let's pass by the mushroom. Uh, a hilly turtle. Quick, get it! Let's see how good my aim is. Get the frick out of here. Monsters 
have been getting too close to the city recently. Okay. My task this time is to clear out their camp. Oh wait, let's see how strong my blade is. Right. Pyro task can cause beings to become affected by pyro. When pyro meets other elements, it often triggers an elemental reaction. Alright. Aim shots are great for making precision attacks on enemies' weak heat spots. How about I said weak points? It's the same thing. Tip for most humanoids, aim for the head. Yeah, I was doing that a little bit. Absorb elemental ores and elemental particles to replenish energy. Dealing elemental damage, defeating enemies, or performing other actions might also generate elemental ores. Okay. Let me switch. I want to see how powerful my blade is. Oh, it's a ranged enemy. Let me go back and shoot them down. Yep. Alright, now switch. They disappeared so fast. Though I've gotta say, you surprised me a little with your moves there. Thanks for the backup. How'd it feel? Now that you mention it, how is it the hilly trails ended up here? These creatures don't seem like the type to set up camps so close to cities like this. Exactly. It's more normal for them to be much further out in the wilderness. But because the dragon, Storm Terror, has been around a lot more recently, our orchards have been destroyed and the local market has been affected as well. When the storms hit, we usually end up with at least a few injuries, so the Knights of Favonius have been tied up doing the best they can to defend the area. So these annoying creatures have been getting closer and closer to the city? Exactly. That said, clearing this camp helps make the area a little bit safer. Come with me. A responsible knight must make sure to see you to the city safely. Amber's actually very attractive. I don't know if it's her eyes or what. There's a chest in here. The fr now what? Artifacts? Hold up, let me upgrade again. 17. I keep getting stronger and stronger. It's ridiculous. Like, there's no need at this point. I probably should have threw that to Amber. Alright. Tail feather? Equip, I guess. Can I enhance it? No consumables. This could also be like a a huge like it could be one of those games where you just have a whole bunch of quests and you need to travel the world and do them. No, I mean and you get more powerful. By. What are you cooking? What should I cook next? Oh, are you travelers from around here as well? Yes, no, sir. We just have well, to yes, ma'am. What are you cooking? Smells good! I see. Welcome, travelers. <laughs> I'm Lynn, the survival expert of the Adventurer's Guild. As you can see, I'm experimenting with some new recipes. Eat before you go. The first rule in the Wilderness Survival Guide. Mm -hmm. Picnic? Oh, Paimon just loves picnics! My travel partner here is good at cooking as well. Hey, 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 That's okay. hey, Let's see what you can do. Don't hit me like that. You won't get a lot of chances like this to learn from a survival expert. There are some mushrooms and meat in the barrel over there. Try making a chicken mushroom skewer for me. Ah. Apple. Um. Mushroom. Wow. I'm the survival expert of the Adventurers Guild. Nice to meet you. She said adventure skilled. That's a thing. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Chicken mushroom skewer. All right. Dub. All right, let's hand it to her, I guess. Survival expert of the Adventurers Guild. Nice to meet you. Is it done? 
Mmm. Smells good. Let me try. Mmm. Can I say something? Now that's really tasty. You are indeed gifted. Paimon told you so. <coughs> With your culinary skills, you should try more difficult dishes. Oh, I've got some raw ingredients in my bag. Have them in return for this meal. Can we really have them? Won't you run out of ingredients? That's okay. You should be able to find lots of ingredients when exploring the wilderness. Don't forget to look carefully. There's also a restaurant in Mondstadt known as Good Hunter that sells food and ingredients. Go have a look when you've got the time. Okay, thank you for the info. <gasps> hey, leave some chicken mushroom skewers for Paimon! <laughs> oh. Mondstadt is right here. This is a bridge that leads to the area. Or you're running out of stamina. See, I don't like I don't like that. Should be able to sprint for longer because because running like this is pretty slow. But, but it's understandable. I mean, it's realistic. Like you someone like like her that isn't like godlike or alien or some special like yeah. Makes sense for her to be slow. She could at least be a little bit faster. Or at least gain more stamina. Like, come on, Bert. City of Wind, Dandelions, and Freedom. Travelers under the protection of the Knights of Havonius, welcome to Mondstadt. I love how this place looks. Finally, looks no more having to camp outdoors. But the city folk don't look too cheery. Everyone's been put out of place by storm terror recently, but everything will turn out fine as long as Jean's with us. Jean? Captain <laughs> Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. Jean, Defender of Mondstadt. With Jean on our side, surely even the vicious storm terror will be no match for us. Before I take you guys to the Knights of Favonius headquarters, I have a present for you, Traveler. It's a reward I... for helping me clear out that Hillitrol camp. Hmm. Hey, why doesn't Paimon get a reward? Uh, because this reward is useless to you, Paimon. But I'll treat you to a traditional Mondstadt delicacy. Sticky honey roast. Sticky honey roast! Come with me. We'll head to the city's, uh, high ground. <laughs> Now what? Navigate. All right. Ah, <sighs> after we deal with this, I'm going to end the video here because this used to be I... a bustling street, but with so many storm terror attacks recently, the usual crowds are nowhere to be seen. Except, is this a store? Oh, just leave. Okay, we just have a bunch of stores here. But yeah, I was planning on ending the video after this because I just wanted to get to where I left off on mobile. And it was going pretty slow because of the cutscene lag and all that. I don't know what it is about that. What environments and hydro attacks can cause beings to become affected by hydro when hydro meets other elements and often triggers an elemental reaction? Oh, yeah, change the picture. Oh yeah, I just wanted to make sure I could get to where I left off at. And then I'll be completely blind afterwards. Because I won't be playing on mobile anymore. At least until they like... Hey, you know, like, update the, um... Cutscenes, because... It's apparently super laggy, and I don't like that. Hey, 
And it's understandable for a game like this that's already so good. And then you're putting it on mobile. But it's almost unplayable. So, the present I want to give you is a wind glider. Outriders use them to ride the wind, and the people of Mondstadt love using them too. I brought you here to give it to you so you can experience it right away. Oh, you're really excited about these wind gliders, huh? I am. Well, that's because the wind is the heart and soul of Mondstadt. Oh, yeah, that's right. Alrighty then, enough talk. Let's give it a whirl. It's easy to use, but you still need to pay attention to my instructions. Hmm. Dangerous. Proceed carefully. I really like that. So we got a glider. Slow way down. That means I can hop off a cliff without having to worry about falling to my death. Wait, I saw a waypoint. Climb, 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 climb. <laughs> I may have to put that climbing mechanic to use later. Yep, here it is. Lies a little bit. It's still running smoother than on mobile. It's tearing the place down. This cutscene is almost unwatchable when I play that one. Did this make a whole turn? Bro! All right, she's still here because of the glider. I like that. Thanks, Amber. Hold up. Wait, she lose her glider? Oh, okay, cool. I'm glad she's alive. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Let's fight this dragon. How are you staying afloat like this with just a wind glider? That's my question. I'm preventing your fall with the power of a thousand winds. Who's talking? Now, concentrate. See yourself grasping the wind. Harness its energy. We're using the power of the wind to shoot at this dude. Aim is not very good when we're moving like this. Approach this dude, get closer so it can be easier to hit him. I want to know who was just talking to me. It sounded a little bit like Amber, but it wasn't. He couldn't get his health down to zero. Is he retreating? Dope. Right, I can't really see it. TV's too large. got the power to go up against the dragon are you a new ally or a new storm storm terror is attacking monstat itself Kaya it wasn't doing terror. that you've come at the right time we must hold on amber are you perhaps forgetting to introduce us oh right this is kaya our cavalry captain these two are travelers from afar. 
from afar. Is that all we know of them? Uh, long story short. Okay. I see. Welcome to Mondstadt. Uh, though you haven't arrived at the best of times, I'm afraid. I understand the anguish of being separated from family. I'm not really sure why you're looking for the Animo God. Oh, but everyone has their secrets, right? <laughs> Relax. I won't press you for more. First and foremost, on behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I would like to extend our thanks to you for your help just now. Man, I'm gonna ask for a reward. Your fight to defend the city against the dragon just now was witnessed by no small number of citizens. The acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius is also very interested in meeting you, and formally invites you both to our headquarters. Bet. Hi, Kaya. <laughs> Hold up, hold up. Got an achievement. I saw that. Or a new storm. Okay. Alright, now what would they tell me to do? Outfits. Why would I want to change my uniform, though? Is it voiceover? Oh. Why do I want to change my uniform though? Effing. Dressing room. Oh, it's talking about my glider. Wait, which one did I have? All of them look very good. Oh, this is the first one. Celestial Heights? Do you know me? Give me this! <sighs> it looks so dope. And I almost forgot to use it too. This seems to be the Knights of Favonius headquarters. Let's head in. New mail? A survey down there. Try to get 50 primo gems for completing the survey. I'll uh, uh I'll complete the survey later because I'm in the middle of the video right now. Enter. So here is where we're about to meet probably the two most interesting girls in, in the story right now. What's the hurry? I thought we agreed to meet them here. There have been sightings of storm terror outside the city. Once we meet, we must... Relax. I'll lend a hand when the time comes. Mm. Jean, I brought them. <sighs> They're giving me Riddle and the Randall vibes. Here. Monstat welcomes you, Windborn Travelers. I am Jean, acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. This is Lisa, our resident librarian. <laughs> oh, are you sweeties here to help us out? Sweeties, that sounded seductive. <laughs> You're both so adorable. That also sounded seductive. See, we The timing is regrettable. Storm terror has caused quite a ruckus in the region since its recent resurgence. Simply put, Mondstadt's elemental sphere and ley lines are now akin to a yarn ball in the paws of a kitten. For a mage, it couldn't get much worse. My skin is one elemental particle away from a full-blown breakout. 
If it weren't for this interference, the Knights of Favonius would have better ways to help you than just putting up missing person posters. We simply ask that you repose in Mondstadt while we help you seek out your brother. Nah, let's help out. Good. In that case, we need a plan. Bet. With Storm Terror now directly attacking Mondstadt, we may have an opportunity to cut this problem off at the source. Lisa has revealed the sources of Storm Terror's power with her detection magic. Is that so? They're located in the abandoned Four Winds Temples. Storm Terror's ability to whip up these kinds of storms can be attributed to it drawing power from the temples. Our objective is to deal with three of the four temples. I trust everyone understands why we are only dealing with three. Paimon doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Must be a local thing. Knights of Favonius, time is against us. The storm is rampant. There's no point in maintaining a defensive position. All right, we need to take initiative and act before the situation escalates. All right. Storm Tariff and take a nail. We almost got him before we retreated. All right, I think that's gonna be where I cut it off. So, summary, <laughs> this isn't fully, well, we can say it is. This is where I left off at. I ain't getting much further than this. Um, Kaya is interesting. Lisa is Bay already. Amber is also Bay, but slightly less. And Jean, <laughs> she interests me as well. I wonder how powerful she actually is to be acting grandmaster. And I guess maybe we'll see some of her power later. Maybe we could add her to our team, probably. But Paimon is adorable. <laughs> And yeah, I guess we're just going to end it here. <clears throat> so, hope you guys enjoyed. Hey, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you feel like. And um, let me know what you think. So yeah. <laughs>